Hi everyone, it's JJ here and welcome to Be Colorful for the second part of the video where I gonna propose other cards using the Tony Craft Kit number 34. In particular, I will propose two very elegant Christmas cards in perfect art deco style which is uh, precisely the theme of the kit. To discover all the products uh, included in the kit, I refer you to the first part of the video. You will find the link in the description box together with the link to the Tonic Studios website for more information on this kit. You will also find the list of all the products I will use to create the card, as well as the link to my blog. After this uh, brief introduction, let's move on to the card number 6. The sixth card uh, that I will propose to you will be an uh, Art Deco style Christmas card with uh, essential and elegant geometric figures. First of all, I'm gonna make the background panel cutting out a rectangle with the die included in the kit. I will use this beautiful black satin mirror card. You can, however, use regular black cardstock or other colors if you prefer. The focal point of this card will be a geometric Christmas tree, which I will create using part of the dies included in the kit on the pearlescent copper paper. In particular, this area formed by the two dies will be the trunk and the lower part of the tree. Then I'm going to cut out the lower part of the figure. And I'm going to cut out the end following the oblique lines of the design. Getting this shape. The longer side area of the two dies will instead form the central part of the tree. I'm going to divide it into two strips and uh, I shorten them at both ends, always following the oblique lines of the design. While the corner of this die will be the top of the tree. What I cut out so that uh, I get a triangular shape. Once I have uh, all the pieces, I'm gonna compose the tree, further cutting out some parts until I'm satisfied with the proportions of the figure. Well, now to decorate the card, I'm going to add a frame using this die from the kit on pearlescent copper paper. This die only cut out the inside edges, so I'm going to cut out the outside ones with my guillotine. I'm gonna glue the frame on the black background panel, helping me with the inner part of the die cut because being a very thin frame it is a bit complicated to position it straight. After that I can glue my Art Deco Christmas tree.
Of course, I'm gonna add some Christmas bubbles using the glitter accent from the kit. Otherwise, what Christmas tree would uh, that be? Now let's move on to the sentiment. First of all, using the internal part obtained from the die cut of the frame, I'm going to cut out the two shorter sides of the figure that will be the decorative edges of the sentiment. Then I'm gonna cut out a strip on the black satin paper I used for the background panel. As a sentiment, I chose Merry Christmas from this very versatile stamp set that contains all the classic Christmas sentiment in different fonts. Next, I'm going to prepare the surface with the anti-static powder and stamp with the Versamark ink because I'm going for the embossing technique using a copper embossing powder with glitter. After that, I'm composing the sentiment strip and glue it to the bottom of the card with some foam pad to get a nice dimension. To finish the card, I'm going to add a finishing border with this gorgeous copper embossed paper included in the kit by cutting out a 4.25 by 5.5 panel, which will completely cover up the card base, that is a 4.25 by 5.5 top folding standard card. Finally, I'm gluing everything on the card base, and the sixth card is finished. The card number 7 will also have an Art Deco Christmas style and I will also use the same color palette, copper and black. It will be a 6x6 square card. This time, however, instead of using part of the dice, I will use the stamp included in the kit and I'm gonna show you a particular technique. For this technique we need a mask, which I get by die cutting a cardstock with a square die, forming a six-pointed star. It would be better to take the measurement to be precise. You can find this type of masks on the shop, but we can make them by ourselves. Keep in mind that the tie you will use to create the mask will determine the size of the panel you will need to use for stamping. In any case, you will need a stamping platform, so I temporarily fix the mask and I'm going to make the panel using the black satin paper and the same square die that I used to create the mask. Now, in order to position the stamp correctly, I'm gonna do some tests on a piece of white cardstock. I'm going to mark the diagonals of the square Then I can place the test card in the mask and I'm going to align the stamp with the help of the diagonals marked with the pencil. So I'm going to do the first stamp with black ink. Leaving the stamp in the same position, I simply rotate the card and proceed with the second stamp. Wanting to compose a square figure with solid lines, I have to find the right alignment, which, as you can see, I have not achieved 
with this uh, position of the stamp. I knew I was having uh, this problem. This is why I decided to do some tests. I am going to reposition the stamp, this time helping myself with well-marked diagonals and aligning the edges of the stamp on these lines. The test was successful! Finally, to complete what will be my Art Deco snowflakes, I'm going to place the other stamp of the kit to create spikes. Perfect! Now, without uh, moving uh, the stamps, I proceed to create the actual uh, focal point on the black satin paper. I'm going for a heat embossing technique, therefore I'm going to prepare my surface with the anti-static powder, and for stamping I will use the Versamark ink. Then I proceed with the technique I show you with the test card. I stamp, rotate the square, and stamp again until the drawing is complete. Once finished, I'm going to sprinkle the stamp with the glittery copper embossing powder. Put the excesses inside the container and with my heat tool, well heated, in order to expose the paper as little as possible to the heat, I melt the dust. Without the help of the stamping platform, I'm going to add a few more tips uh, on the snowflakes, uh, always with the Versamark ink and the small stamp included in the kit. And of course, I'm going to heat set the new stamps. I'm going to clean the paper from anti-static dust and the Art Deco Snowflakes is ready. Next, I continue to decorate the card by creating a frame for the snowflakes panel using two square dice, the same one I used for the black panel and another slightly smaller one. The frame will be in satin copper color. Now let's move on to creating the background panel. I'm going to cut out a square on black satin paper, slightly smaller than the standard 6x6 card. On copper satin paper, however, I'm going to cut out a 6x6 inch panel, which will create the finishing edges of the card. Just to be frugal, to save this special paper a bit, I'm going to cut out the central part, which will be covered by the black panel. The card can be assembled like this, and it is already beautiful and elegant, but I want to give another touch of Art Deco to the background, therefore I'm going to cut out some very thin copper satin paper strips and compose a drawing of broken lines. 
very random. After composing the background, I'm ready to glue everything together. Behind the background panel, I'm going to glue some paper scraps to get all nice and level. So, I'm going to glue the panel onto the card base. And my focal point with some foam tape to get a nice dimension. For the sentiment I will use one of these Tonic Studios dies not included in the kit, die cutting Lady Snow on satin copper paper. To finish my card I'm gonna create a few drops of the copper crystal drop included in the kit, thus ending the second essential and elegant Christmas card as required by the Art Deco style. This video ends here. I hope you liked these two cards with a very particular design and that the techniques I have shown you can be useful for your projects. Always keep in mind that you don't need the kit to create similar cards. You can get inspired and use other dyes, stamps and products. I greet you all, thank you for visiting my craft room virtually and see you next time for the third part of the video in which another three cards are waiting for us using the product of the kit as well as a very special bonus card. Bye bye, thank you again and be colorful!